So I just tried to make some antennas with different wires and I came to a surprising conclusion. That I have a problem. The first goal was to make compact, light and durable clover leaf. So it's not as easy as it looks and I made a form for it that could be 3D printed. The antenna is inside of this ball and is totally covered from any smashes. So I use it on my long range quad and also on my freestyle quad. So how to make the clover leaf? Uh, just print out the rainforesting globe or ball or what is it? I, I don't know. Stick 0.5 mm wire inside the holes, thread it through. You can see that the, the, those paths uh, are separated, so the wires shouldn't, shouldn't be connected with the lower wires. This upper part will be on the middle wire on the coax cable, and this lower part should be connected to the shielding. And that's probably all. Then you will just stick this cover in and it will reinforce it uh, on the wire, glue it inside here and, and it works really great. As the omnidirectional antenna, uh, the tree lobe version should be used for the VTX. For the VRX, like receiver, uh, you should use four lobes version. It's also in the in the link in the description. But the process of making it is almost the same. So that would be on the omni omnidirectional part. Now there is the helical antenna. For the long range. I made uh, different antennas with different diameters and the smaller one came out to be the best. I don't know why, but it just has the best rep reception and it is close to the 16 dBi theoretical gain as it can. I can recommend it for a long range better than the Actuna triple feed patch. You will see a comparison with these antennas. Uh, you can take the triple feed patch as a standard because manufacturers will be doing this the same way with same di dimensions as always and everybody should have the same piece of antenna but this one is better and I really recommend it for long range flights this version came out to be the worst so I can just disassemble it and I will show you how to make this antenna the antenna contains of a reflector and a spiral active part but it's not as active because it's a receiver antenna but you know you should wind up the wire around the 3D printed base and you should use 0.5 millimeter wire so the dimension of the wire will not change the diameter of the tubing as much as the thicker wire because the thicker wire why not wind it up around this uh, We'll make a 20 millimeter diameter and it's too much. So use some thin wire. Then the active part is soldered to the middle wire on the coax cable and the reflector is soldered on the shielding. Then add some connector and point it out to the to the uh, direction that you fly. So the standard antenna 
for this test is TFP antenna triple feed patch uh, and you can see which the antenna is better or worse than this standard You can see that the helical antenna with bigger diameter uh, and thicker wire is much worse than the 15mm version with 0.5mm wire. And as the 7 turn helical antenna has more gain than the triple feed patch antenna, it performs really great in this distance so for me it's clearly the winner and it's the cheapest option of these antennas and it's really easy to make it by yourself and that's all have a nice stressful long-range flights <laughs>